Well, welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword with you. And I must say, <laughs> I am rushing to get this review done without any further interruption of power. I, we are in the middle of a tropical storm, downgraded from a hurricane, around about the 22nd of August, and I hope to get this video posted uh, on or around Monday the 23rd, if the power and the weather cooperate. So, makes this a little more exciting than usual review. <laughs> but, we have in front of us the Petrified Fish Warrior. This was delayed a few times in delivery by Amazon, for one reason or another. I must say, if you've received a petrified fish knife through Amazon, uh, even though you may have gotten it through Amazon Prime, the uh, package looks like it came from overseas inside of the Amazon Prime envelope. So lots of layers of plastic bag tightly wound around and taped and so forth. I think I had to unearth about three layers to get to this knife. but. Here we have it, and I'm liking it. Uh, this is the second petrified fish knife that I'm doing a review on. Uh, you can catch the other one from just a few days back. And this one came chock full. I have to show you this. All kinds of goodies, and what I didn't bring with me here is the... Um, I did have a little dog tag. Maybe I'll go run and get that. Hang on. Okay, so back with you. Sorry if there was a little jog of the image there. But had two things happening. Battery running low in the camera. And I wanted to show you this really neat. It's like a looks like pewter. Could be a chunk of titanium, could be aluminum, but it is non-magnetic, so it's not steel little kind of a dog tag keychain tag kind of a nice touch because this is uh, up in the fifty five dollar range I think which was uh, about twenty more than the other run-of-the-mill petrified fish knives again this is the warrior and this is the model PF949 comes in about four different handle styles. I just love this kind of swirled, melted, they call it a G10 carbon fiber. I'm not sure what to make of it, but you can see that it's a solid material and the pattern goes all the way through to the um, thick edge of the handle so it is not a any kind of an applied design this particular petrified fish comes in um, bowler k110 which is kind of an upgraded d2 if you will the entire spine is crowned which i find very nice and it is done in a bead blast on the flat, on the grind rather, and on the swedge, and satin finished on the flat, both flats. Really just uh, neat, and I like their logo on the pivot pin. It's very smooth, not completely drop shutty, that's okay great action on it. It's got a nice detent. If I try real hard, well, I was able to fail it the other day, but you know it's breaking in, so. The clip's amazing. Um, you may or may not like the blue, but it's kind of a neat iridescent blue with their petrified fish artwork on it. It's definitely deep carry. One small problem is they use the uh, dome-headed button-headed screws rather than flat screws but the clip is inset and it is not switchable so the clip is recessed screws are not 
Uh, seems to go in and out of the pocket fine. Let's take some quick measurements, shall we? And first, we've got to back out to do that. So, we've got an eight and a half inch overall knife. Got a three and a half inch blade, and just a little over a three and a half inch cutting edge. Sorry if I went out of frame there. It's a liner lock with a hidden liner. So it's recessed into the handle. It is weight relieved with a series of skeletonizing holes on both sides, which is quite nice. You can see that there. Action's great, as I say. Really, really nice. And there's kind of a touch of a harpoon sort of Bowie clip blade, I'll call it. See if we can get some other dimensions for you. Blade stock in millimeters. Let's see, get a better grab here. I'm going to call it 3.8, so almost 4 millimeter blade stock. Doesn't look like it because of the uh, rounded spine. Handle thickness, not going to be real thin, 0.54, but uh, quite ergonomic. And let's get a weight for you. Hello to you, too. Okay. We have a weight of 4.690, so we're going to call that a 4.7. Not real light, but could be because the steel we got inside here is a little on the thick side. I can't tell, really. Feels very substantial, more so than one other petrified fish that I had uh, done a review on. So I think that's it for the measurements. I'm going to do a quick compare here to the uh, episode, which I did a review on recently, the Sen Cut episode, also with a Bowie Clip style blade, and the Arroyo by Artisan, also a Bowie style blade and so you can see the size comparisons. What I meant to show you earlier, and I think I started to before I lost the uh, keychain tag, is you get a nice cloth. You get this tag hanging off the knife. You get a completely separate set of black screws in case you wanted to change out the silver and you get a nice long lanyard with a little bead there all packed up in this little box so I'm liking this knife I heard from at least one guy on Instagram that he had one but wasn't his favorite and that's fine but uh, so far, out of two petrified fish knives, this is really nice. The finish is interesting. It's uh, smooth, but um, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of leather-like. I'm um, looking for another word, but it is not slippery. That's got some grip to it. It's almost as if they um, bead blasted the handle. See, there's a little bit of a sheen there, but it's definitely not shiny or slippery. Um, there is no jimping on the blade. There is a lanyard hole. And the ergos on the handle are quite nice. Like it in either grip, and there's plenty of handle. So at an eight and a half inch knife, it's not a small knife. Now I'm going to see what some of the other petrified fish knives look like. I've got, I believe, three more coming in. Let's do a quick comparison with uh, a known quantity here, if I can find it. Oh yeah. Let's just quickly look at the Warrior from Petrified Fish next to the Griptilian. 
pretty close. I'd say it's slightly longer overall. If we go pivot to pivot, it's got a longer blade, slightly. Although that may just be the uh, perspective because I think they both have a three and a half inch blade. At any rate, that is the Petrified Fish Warrior model number PF949 in Bowler K110. I'd recommend this knife. It is for the for the dollars. It is really a lot of bang for your buck. So let's see what this came up as. Well, if I look at my orders on Amazon, just to give you a definite price. So yes, the Petrified Fish 949 is going for a hefty $56.99, call that $57. And it does come in various colors, not that you're going to see all the colors there, but if you pull that up on Amazon, look at all the models. You can get black blade, micarta handles, etc. I think this is my favorite handle of all. I just really, really like the looks give you one final peek at it really nice nicely made not sure who their OEM is I don't know if they're making their own or not but right down to the clip it's a class act for $57 okay let me know what you think give it a like don't forget to subscribe we'll catch you soon with the next vid coming up well after this storm, I hope. Be well.